Leon dropped Bill on fast in the mud when he seen that look in his eyes. Listen. <laughs> Listen, Leo was trying to talk so sensitive to Bill and everything. So Bill got mad to my being. He gonna say some being stabbed in the back um, by Katie and Brooks. He been protecting them and all this other stuff. I said, you got a lot of nerves, sir. First of all, even if you don't count the fact, even if you don't count the fact that he recently told Brooks she the only woman for him. And then after she rejects him, you go, you wait till Katie walk in and say, oh, just you right on time. And <laughs> You right on time, but then you came right on time with some of his shit. Even if you don't count that all the years that you choose a brook, the minute Brooke became available, you always forget about Katie. And she should have been left you. That's the truth of the matter. She should have been left you alone. And he talking about being stabbed in the back. I see you got a lot of nerve. Leon should have told him. I thought Leon was gonna say, um, you did how you did Katie, you always choose Brooke over Katie and everything and you messed up or something like that. He told me I said you gotta have one or the other and he was like, You know me. He's uh Bill was like saying, You know me. He said he always knew he'll end up with one on either Brooke or Katie. And he said, You can't have them both and he said, You know better you know me well enough to not tell me what I can have and everything. I said, Ooh we now uh I wonder where this where this storyline's going. Because I know they said that Bill's supposed to be one, be the one to discover that Deacon is hiding out Sheila or whatever. Which I don't know if it's true or not because Sheila's no longer at Deacon. So I don't know. Maybe he's going to reveal that he knew about it or something. I don't know. But, yeah, um, Bill got all fired up. He had been drinking and stuff. He got all fired up. He got ready to go out and uh, Leon grabbed his own. <laughs> Leon grabbed his own. He was trying to stop him. He like... Uh, he see the look and he know anytime he put that sword necklace on, it's gonna be some trouble or whatever to sum it up. And Bill looked down at his arm and I said, Ooh, you better drop his arm. He looked like he's serious. <laughs> I said, You better drop it. Leo seen the look in his eyes and the way he reacted, he dropped it so fast. I said, Bill said he thought so. <laughs> I said, Ooh, we Bill is upset. And I'm wondering if we're gonna see him on tomorrow's episode or they just gonna show do like they did. Um, y'all remember that episode? When Justin was at the Force of Creation and Ridge had hired him to go uh, follow Sheila and Deacon. And <laughs> we didn't see him no more after that. <laughs> I said, it might be that or whatever. But yeah, he trying to calm him down. It didn't work. Now he going to do something. And as he's doing it or whatever, and Leon's talking to him, they show Katie and uh, Carter. And Katie was like, is there one man who doesn't want Brooke? And she's like, I love my sister, but it's always Brooke, Brooke, Brooke. I said, you right. The whole show seemed like it revolved around her. And she ain't on screen. So Somebody talking about us. I said, you right. She's like, Brooke, Brooke, Brooke. And he's like, um, he like, him, he don't want Brooke. He admire her and all that. I said, yeah, for now. Yeah, for now. <laughs> because they always find a way. They always find a way to make it about Brooke or whatever. And, uh, yeah, so then Carter Studs trying to put the moves on Katie. He trying to let her know he want to. And what I said about that is I'm hoping, like, hopefully they don't do a situation where Quinn come back and then have him leave Katie for Quinn or whatever. But I did say it seems like they both always in the same situation where they want a person or want, um, the, uh, yeah, they want somebody, but they, that person always chooses someone else. Cause you know, Carter wanted Quinn, Quinn, then the rich, she was going to stay with Eric and everything. You got Maya. Uh, who else? It was, I feel like it was somebody else. I don't know, but yeah, Maya and Quinn, that's who I'm going to say. I can't think of, I can't think of who else it was or whatever. Maybe it was just them two. Was it Zoe? Zoe wanted, uh, yeah, Zoe wanted um Zenday when he came into the picture. Um, then uh, what else? Katie, she always want Bill, and Bill always want Brooke. Anytime she's available, he wants Brooke or whatever. So I was like, okay, maybe they perfect for each other because there's somebody else always choosing. Um, someone else over them. So I was like, hopefully they work or whatever. But they start kissing and everything. And I thought Bill was going to walk in right then. But uh, I don't know if part of the show got cut off or what, but it looked like it was shorter. I think it, I don't know. But uh, yeah, then go back to Deacons. See, I had started out with this episode review and I was like, that's the, you see the thumbnail I got, the picture I got up there? I was like, uh, that's the face of somebody who realizing the walls are closing in <laughs> because he done messed up. Why they do this? I don't know. But yeah, he done messed up and he's trying to play it off. But at the same time, he's taking the beer to the head and he's giving off a little bit of sign. 
thinks that he knows something more than what he say. And I want to know if Steffi and Finn realize that he knows more than he say. Because they were saying how he's the only one that Sheila will turn to because nobody else fooled with her. And I was like, right. And then once Hope revealed that he has a woman there, they're going to start to put two and two together. Let's, let's Bill really is the one that's going to figure everything out. But yeah, he's like, he don't know. And uh, what makes you so sure she's alive? I said, you guilty. I said, you guilty. <laughs> I say you guilty, you know you guilty. But yeah, and then after they leave and everything, well, they they question him. And Steffi, they both keep making facial expressions. I was like, do they know? Do they know he know or what? But uh, after they leave, he starts uh, realizing, he says something or whatever. And I was like, yeah, you busted, buddy. You busted, buddy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. What y'all think about this whole storyline? Um, who do y'all think is going to reveal that Deacon was a part of the... Uh, Sheila escaping. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts about this episode. Until next time, deuces. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time.